The two-day Fed meeting kicks off today. For a look at what, what, what might be ahead, let's bring in former Dallas Fed President Richard Fisher. He's now senior advisor to Barclays, and he serves on the board of Tenet Healthcare. He's also a CNBC contributor. Richard, let, let's take a look at what's happening. The 10-year pushing above 3% yesterday for the first time since 2018. Market knows that the Fed's going to be moving pretty aggressively. Do you think there is more that they will hear tomorrow that will surprise them, or do you think they've kind of figured out where the Fed is? Well, I think the thing people are waiting for is to see how they plan to trim the portfolio, particularly mortgage backs, because the mortgage back portfolio that they hold is uh, long, 10 years and longer. And the real question is, will they have to depart from precedent and actually sell a security? Hmm. So that's, I think, could be an unknown. We'll, we'll see. But they've got to lay out more specifics in terms of trimming the portfolio in addition to whatever announcement they come out with 50 basis points. Uh, we won't see much of a chart going forward, but I think the tone will be aggressive because inflation is a serious problem. You think the tone will be more aggressive than the March minutes kind of indicated, that we could be getting up to a, 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 a pair down rate of $95 billion a month and that it could start this month? I don't think that I think the trim part of it, that is the portfolio reduction or titration, is uh, already pretty clear what the numbers are. The question is the timing, the speed. But again, the mortgage backed security, it's easy to let, they've almost got $2 trillion in relatively short term uh, treasuries that they can let leak out at a determined pace that they've already announced. But mortgage backed securities, <laughs> they're all bunched up 10 years and longer. There's a little less than, I think, $2 billion in short-term mortgage-backed securities maturing. So that's the key. We'll have to see. But I don't expect any surprises on the interest rate front. I think that's already been telegraphed. I've never, I served under three Fed chairmen. No one has been as open and direct and telescoping and transparent as Jay Powell. So we know what they're going to do on the interest rate front. The question is, what might they do in the future? What are they going to indicate? And then what happens with trimming the portfolio? What specifics we can get?